and all across the nation for the past four years, the little preacher has been going up and down, winning lost humanity with the message of the master. At this time, let me introduce to you little Marjo. Howdy, neighbors. May the Lord bless you. I thank God for my darling Christian mother that pointed me to Jesus. If we had more good Christian mothers that would teach the boys and girls how to play more instead of drinking cocktails and smoking filthy old cigarettes, we would have a better America, better men and women, and not so much juvenile delinquency. There would be, you know, gestures like when I would say Jesus, my arms would have to go out to when I would say the devil, I would go forward. And she had this incredible set of signals. They were like if she would say, oh, Jesus, if I was going too slow. Or if she said, glory to God, you know, that meant you better speed up and go a little bit faster. Then later on, they came up with more signals like praise God meant, you know, you've got the people where you need them. You better take an offering and raise some money. Oh, my friend. <laughs> My, 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 I can just see Jesus on his way up. Hallelujah. Going up into the sky. I'm going up. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. They shut the windows. They locked the doors for fear of their lives. But I see them as they got down on their knees. As some people, you see, they've taken these prayer claws for their son or their daughter who is in drugs or dope addiction. And they've given that prayer cloth to them. And I've had many testimony of a young person after they got one of these prayer claws, they were delivered from drugs. How many believe that God can work this way? Do you believe it? Praise the Lord. I want you to get out the largest bill that you have right now. If you believe, if you don't have that much faith, then you shouldn't come down anyhow. Even young people, anyone who wants to come down, if you want to believe for someone in your life, I want you just to give us a $20 bill is the largest bill you got, then I want you to get that out. If it's a 10, I want you to get that out. If it's only a dollar bill, I want you to get that out. But I'm asking you to prove God with whatever the largest offering that you have tonight. Anyone else who wants to right now, stand to your feet. All right, I want you to make your way. And as I lay hands on you tonight, I want us to sing that chorus, There's Victory in Jesus, by the key of A or A flat. Hallelujah. Everyone sing, Well, I've got victory in Jesus. I sing.
good sound, boy. Thank you. Coming from you, I think that's a compliment. Find out, find out where that dove, dove went. Boy, that climax on that dove was it. I like that. <laughs> I got that when I was down in Texas. You know, you know Fitzgerald? Yeah, well, Fitzgerald. I preached that at the first time in his church. You count the big stuff and I'll count this. Okay. You, you gonna trust me? Oh, I think I'll trust you. Okay. <laughs> 20, 20, 20. <laughs> I said, are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Thank you, Jesus. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Jesus is so good to me tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I praise the Lord. Into a prophetic vein. Mama moko solo lo basata. Manda de king de din de bebo. Someone with a digestive tract problems. Quickly call. Manda de bakasata. We've seen midgets grow. We've seen arms and legs that stop growing because the growth cells that stop. Manda de basata. I don't make this stuff. Go into those knees. Arthritis, go in the name of Jesus. Tumors, go in the name of Jesus. That one calling with lupus. Lupus, you foul devil. You bow to the name of Jesus. Lupus, you bow to the name of Jesus. You go in now, Jesus. Some of you may not be aware of it. Televangelism is still thriving in this country, and Robert Tilton is just a very small part of it. There are several large media networks devoted to televangelism, including Trinity, Inspiration Ministries, and Daystar. And the preachers that appear on them can have incredible lifestyles. Just earlier this year, a man named Creflo Dollar got people's attention with a bold request. Pastor Creflo Dollar of the World Changers Church International facing harsh criticism after starting a fundraising campaign to buy this $65 million luxury private jet. If I want to believe God for a $65 million plane, you cannot stop me. You cannot stop me from dreaming. <laughs> You cannot stop me from dreaming is not how you ask for $65 million. We've propelled. Birds propel. Eagles don't propel. We've said, oh God, 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 oh God. What fools the nations are to rage against the Lord. You know, what's, what's fascinating about it is it's just hair, and everybody wants to talk about my hair. But see, Jan found a scripture <clears throat> in the Old Testament, and in the Living Bible it says that white hair is the crowning glory and is seen most amongst the godly. That is in the scripture. Now that's something, isn't it? Yeah. The, the apostles were businessmen. They were rich men, had plenty of money. I'm going to show you that Jesus was a wealthy man, had plenty of money. And see, all of that completely foreign to us from a, from a traditional point of view. How many of you know that God blessed Abraham with uh, riches? Amen. Blessed him with silver and gold. How many of you like silver and gold? Those of you that don't, you're in the wrong church. There will be 50 people give $1,000 and do it right now or I am finished. Now try me. And if you'll call during this telecast for you that support our ministry in any way, just call the number on your screen. We'll rush this out to you. Many of you during this time of year need to anoint need to anoint your billful with this oil for a financial blessing. One of the things that occurs in Christianity is that it's not pain-free. And in teaching about offenses, I found it very effective to mention the kinds of offenses that come in Scripture. The word offense in the Greek is scandalon, and it refers to the bait of a trap. This is an old Texas rat trap, and uh, I've smashed many a finger on this thing trying to show this message. And when you put the bait on this trigger, that trigger is called the scandalon. That's the offense. And if you reach for the offense to be offended because you are, uh, uh, an animal reaches for it to eat it, but a Christian reaches for the offense because he's hurt. <laughs> You know, 
know. People don't even want to know the truth. People don't want to know the truth in the Bible. If you want to turn the channel, go ahead, fool. Turn the channel. If you want to learn something about God, shut your mouth and listen to me for a minute. It don't matter how big or how hot shot you think you are for the executive for IBM. I mean, give me a break. What you do for a living has got nothing to do with what, what really matters to God. God said he chose the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Do you know if you're an intellectual, you'll probably end up in hell for it? You know, three years ago, I was one of the top beauty consultants in Canada. I had one of the most successful beauty salons in Ottawa, the capital of Canada. How long have you been on alcohol or drugs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's 15 devils. Uh, yes, yes, and I saith the Lord. Yes, saith the Lord. Yes, come out of him, you foul devils. In the name of Jesus, thank God. Get ready, get ready. This is the power of God. Come out of us. This is the power of God. 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 Come out. What kind of pain are you in? What's wrong with you? Broken collarbone. Broken collarbone? Yes, sir. How long has it been that way? Uh, a couple of days. Well, you've already riding. took that thing off your back. Exactly. Which one is it? This one, right here. Lord, there it is, putting it together right there. Mend this collarbone together in, in the name of Jesus. Bones, go together. Now move it around. Start moving it around. Start thanking God. Who else in severe pain? You're in severe... I mean, I mean you're just, what kind of pain are you in? How people think, no, uh-huh, doesn't matter what they think. Ha-ha-ha-ha. Oh, do <laughs> Satan gave me this mess. I mean, it's a lie of the devil. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah. I feel good in my soul. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, sure isn't as heavy as it used to be, though, in the old days. Wow. It's really heavy then. Glory G to Beezus.